welcome to First Ventura. Thought I'd do a short video on what the weather's like in the winter here. A lot of people have asked what sort of temperatures we have and what have you. Well, today is the 22nd of November. It's nearly 5 o'clock in the evening. It's sunny, it's warm. It's been like this well, pretty much throughout the summer in fact. It was a little bit windier earlier today, but now the wind's died and it's absolutely beautiful. And it's pretty much like this most of the winter, to be honest. Obviously, we do have some storms occasionally. We do have heavy rainfall. It's not always a given that we're going to have rain, though, because we were here in 2011 for the winter, and we'd actually been here for over a month, uh, it was about the middle of January, before we actually saw a cloud. It was so unusual, I posted a picture of it, this picture, in fact, on Facebook, saying, you know, the weather's gone to pot, we've got to head somewhere south. But we do have rain. Um, the problem is that most rain here, although it's welcome, it tends to just run away. But there's no real water table, it just hits rock and keeps flying until it flows over the cliffs or wherever into the sea. When we do get rain here, it tends to be just for a day, or part of a day, and then that's it. It's sunny for days after that, um, and we've been here in this house for four and a half years now, and I take the dog for a walk every night about the same time. And I've only ever got wet twice, so that's rather different from being in the UK. The temperatures can be anything, even in January, February, when we're into the 20s. And the lowest temperature I think we had last year at night was about 11 degrees Celsius. So that's not too bad. You can't really describe what we have here as winter. It's pretty much summer and spring here. Although having said that, we did actually have what by First Ventura standards was a winter uh, three years ago. Uh, it was coldish. I even wore a fleece a few times when I uh, took the dogs out for a walk in the evening. Even on the worst day here in the winter, it's better than the best day in the UK and by a long way normally. Although the temperatures can be in the 20s in the, uh, the winter, we can't swim in our pool from probably around now, early November until end of March time because our pool isn't heated, not by electric, it's heated by solar panels on the roof and we don't quite get enough sunshine to keep the pool at a temperature that I'm prepared to swim in. I'm sure a lot of people would, but uh, I don't do cold. I have actually swum in the sea in January a few times, and it was actually reasonably warm. Um, the sea doesn't vary temperature-wise very much from summer to winter, only by perhaps three or four degrees. So if you're looking for somewhere to come to spend the winter, or just spend a week or two to get away from the horrible weather in the UK, I would say, coming somewhere like this has got to be the place. You may be unlucky and come for a fortnight and get three or four days when it's raining and windy and what have you, but you can pretty much guarantee that out of that fortnight you're probably going to get at least seven to ten days of beach weather. It can be quite windy here at times. Um, you know, the winter is no more windy than other times of the year but if you're going to the beach then there are plenty of these foxholes around the, the stone bunkers that you can find and lay in to get out of the wind and lap up the sun frankly i think it's probably one of the nicest climates in the world thanks for watching please click subscribe if you haven't done so already click like and feel free to leave any comments 
Okay, I'll catch you again soon. Bye. In fact, we've been here for over a month. Bloody buggies. Oh, for God's sake. Buggies.